everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to set up our budgets for the week of April 1st. And I will also be filming April 8th while I'm at it. Today is March 27th and my daughter is scheduled to have her rescheduled surgery on Friday the 29th. And so I really need to get these set up before she's home with me for an entire week. I get into our budget setup for the week what I want to do is kind of show you how this paycheck is going so when I set up our budgets for the month I decorate the spread with what you know when the bills are due but I also go through and run some numbers based on estimates I underestimate our income and I overestimate our bills and for the month of March so far, um, our income has been higher than what I estimated by about 200 bucks, just our, our base income. We've had some bills that I've also estimated as a little lower and some as a little higher. We got our, our normal monthly income and I'm going to use part of our tax refund. Our tax refund I've been sitting on for a bit for a reason. Here's what we got back in our refund and I'm not going to get into a debate right now about whether or not we should receive a refund or not. I'm just, we're we're not even going to do that. We do end up getting a federal refund. We are set up for all of our deductions to break us even. And for local, it does. For state, we always owe $3 because of a um, interest accrued on a life insurance policy. Other than that, we, we break even except for federal. We have three kids. We get the child credits. Well, that's why we get a federal refund. What I am doing is I'm going to stash away a thousand of it for taxes. Our property taxes due at the end of April. I can pay out of our sinking fund. I'm not sure what our district taxes will look like at the end of August. They have been rising over the last couple years. I'm, I'm not sure that what I've estimated from last year will be, will be the actual amount. So I'm, I'm stashing some aside for taxes. And then I'm also going to put aside some for my daughter's surgery. Her individual deductible is $500. Her maximum individual out of pocket is $1,000 for a procedure. So I'm just going to put aside the full $1,000, which leaves me with $2,603 to put towards my snowball. So you'll see that's what came in right here. And then I just updated our totals. That's why I do this with pencil because I can easily go in here and erase it later. As things have come, like when we got paid, I updated it and I moved over the savings. So they were put over. This was the overage that we had spent in February off of February's paycheck by using our debit card. And I just stuck it here. I took it straight off the top of our budget. The bills that have come in so far and their updated amounts. And then this is updated. And then the running tally as it goes down is updated. So so to my snowball this month, I'm putting about $3,000, 397 of it will be from this month's paycheck. As far as the actual, you know, other numbers for the month have gone, picture day was on this day. I have rescheduled these funds because it was literally just taking the picture. I will get proofs back. I forgot spring photos run that way where they take the picture and then you get the proofs and you can order from there. I forgot that's how spring goes. The fall is the other way around. The fall is they want the money up front and they send you the pictures. And then so far into this week, um, this is what we have remaining from our paycheck. I wound up not having to pay anything at my doctor's appointment yesterday. That was a fiasco in and of itself. Turns out based on my age, I'm not eligible for what they were supposed to do yesterday. I have to go through a referral with a high risk clinic, which was put in yesterday. It was supposed to be put in in December and this, this appointment shouldn't have been scheduled until that referral was put in, but somehow it slipped through the cracks. So we still have the rest of this week to go. And then what I'm going to set up our budget for is for next week. Before I get to this though, um, I want to update you on cash budget, on our, our cash envelopes. Uh, part of the reason we overspent last month was because I didn't have time to take out cash with my daughter's surgery. We, and so debit was just easier and we wound up using debit. And so to change that this month, I took all the cash out up front with within our ATM limits. So there's no physical location of our bank close to us. I do all of our banking online with them and I also use ATMs that are within their network and their ATM limit for us is $500. I could probably change it 
I really don't want to. It's just an easy number to remember. So I took it all out all at once. These are the envelopes I carry on me most of the time. That's why they're in my wallet. These ones are ones that are kind of off to the side and don't come with me all the time. But of the ones that are with us all the time, family fund money, I put 90 in at the, at the beginning of the month. We have $60 left. For pet, I put in $90 at the beginning of the month and we have $50 left. Household, I put in 130 at the beginning of the month and I am down to 20. I did some stocking up on things last week because I saw there was laundry detergent, like laundry items and household items deal and that there was a deal on personal care items, both of which we needed. It wasn't like a personal care we needed needed, but laundry was a couple of days needed. And so I just decided to get it then. And then this is our grocery envelope and 650 is what I budget. And we're halfway through, like two weeks into our grocery spending. $290. I normally don't have all these singles on me. Usually I will spend the singles, but my son had a bunch of singles and some change and everything and he wanted to kind of swap them out for larger bills and so I just pulled it from the grocery money. And then the one, the envelopes that are left here, three of them are my kids. These are their chore money um, and lunch money. It, it was originally intended for their lunch money but they are saving up for items, their own items, and their allowance money also goes in here that they are saving up. This is my personal spending money. I am saving up for something else as well. So my 40 for the month is still sitting in here. My husband's personal spending money already went to him. Vacation, we are not going on a great big vacation this year. We're gonna do a couple smaller ones. 70. I have been really bad about putting money into the vacation folder in general. And then this last one is kids, kids, because, and I need to write this down, next week um, they are getting their report cards. And so what I do, there's a fancy $2 bill in there that's not being used. What I do is I give them kind of like a, a stipend or a bonus, if you want to call it, for their report cards. For, for a good report card, and by good I define it as 80 or above in the four core classes. So like my son's music class won't count, his IA class won't count. The class needs to be, you know, English, history, math, and science. They need to be an 80 or above. Does that mean he can slack off on the other classes? No, absolutely not. But the four main classes need to be an 80 or above to qualify for a $5 bonus. Anything that is an A in the school's terms of an A will get him an additional dollar. So if he ha only has two classes that are an A and the other two are an 80 or above, he would get $7. If all four of those core classes are an A, I will give him that additional fifth dollar. So he could get potentially $10 for a good report card. And they like saving that money as well. Next week is report cards. I think it's next week. And I only have $5 in here currently. So this needs to change at some point. I need to figure out what envelope I can kind of sneak some from because I'm not taking out any more cash for the month. I'm, I will sneak some from other envelopes. I'm gonna set it up the same, income savings, expenses, other, and decorate it. And I, I actually have numbers I will be writing in for this. Like some of them are in here as reminders. The only one I don't have is Verizon. Verizon, I usually get a text message about that. They are auto payment. That is our home phone and our internet. And they are bundled. I don't think I could separate the bundle and I would not separate the bundle. Where we live is very rural. I do not get cell phone service on my cell phone. So if I am home and the school has to call me and they couldn't get through to me on my cell phone, they call the home phone. We're not getting rid of home phone.
I've been thinking about doing is filming our grocery hauls. I know that budgeting weekly like this and setting up my budget has helped me remain accountable on our budget. But it's also showing, you know, it's, it's showing you guys another way you could budget or just, you know, pretty planning, whatever floats your boat. I don't know if showing like what we get as far as grocery goes, groceries go for our family would be something that's interesting to you or something that you would be interested in seeing. I honestly don't know. I like watching budget with me videos. I like watching some grocery haul videos. You know, I don't know if that's something you guys are interested in. Let me know in the comments below. It's something I'll think about. I've, I've been thinking about filming. I don't know how it would go once all the kids are home in the summer. Like, I don't know how even these videos would go when the kids are home in the summer. They are loud. I've got two boys. One is a teenager. One is a tween, I guess you'd call it. And I've got a, a little girl, a daughter who, you know, because she's the youngest of three kids and she's got two older brothers, she is loud by default. If grocery hauls are something you guys would be interested in seeing, let me know. And again, if there's other video ideas that you guys are interested in, like meal planning videos or, um, you know, recipe videos, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely start filming those. I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm going to use this book in particular this sticker because I've got bills that um, should equal enough to use this sticker. I didn't realize some of them would be smaller when I peel it up, but oh well. Cutting these so horribly. like that because they're all different sizes, but oh well, it used it up. I want to note something. I will have all these things linked in the comments below, all the things I'm using. However, this, if you're to order this, it's a smaller book similar to, you know, these sizes. This is like three or four of them combined because I kept using the same stickers in these budget books. And when I ran out of the stickers, I would have to go get another one. So there's a whole bunch of stickers in this that aren't used like the, I don't use these, um, but other ones I do use and quite frequently. period starts today and it usually takes them a couple days to get all the report cards printed and considering conferences are actually this week spring conferences are this week I'm thinking report cards are coming out they're obviously coming out sometime this week I just don't know when I don't know a particular day and it's driving me crazy I can't easily find it on their site so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of these Coffee Monster Co. school bucket list, the report card sticker. And I'm going to stick it on this week because I need a reminder to make sure that the report card money is there. That's all the actual bills, expenses kind of thing going on. This again is not coming out from the bank. I'm done taking cash out from the bank. This is coming out from other envelopes. So all that's left to do is kind of decorate it a little bit.
about it. I don't really want to fill it in too much because again, it's, it's just tracking money and spending. Like this video please click that like button if you want to see more videos like this please click that subscribe button if you want to see like grocery hauls maybe meal planning recipe videos let me know in the comments below and i will start to do that so thank you again have a good day